years and years and years and years ago I learned the piano, mostly from my dad because he's like incredible with music, like every single instrument. Um, but I never really used it. I learned all the classical piano stuff and it was just kind of boring to me. And then the other day, I saw a video of Scott Storrs playing like all of my favorite hip hop songs. And I was like, wow, that guy should be fun. My dad gave me this old hand-me-down keyboard years ago. It's like heavy as can be. You need an amp to play anything out of it. But it sounds good and it works. So I came down here a few days ago for the first time ever and I was like, well, let me let me like try learning some of this hip hop song, see if that's fun for me. And I don't know how to read notes. So I had to go by listening to it. But that actually made it really enjoyable. So I was like, let me try getting back into piano and see if I can learn like modern songs that I like and have a little bit of fun with it. So I ordered a brand new toy and it just came in. It's a new uh, little keyboard I got off of Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Quality's probably not that great because I don't really know astronomical with this stuff. But I figure it'll be a lot easier to move around and keep upstairs than this. Goliath, so have a little bit of fun. See if I can pick piano back up. Give you guys one lesson, not a really easy one to learn. So this one's pretty easy. Come here, I'll show you. I don't know how to read notes. I go by ear and sound, so bear with me. Um, but it's C, E, and A, and you're hitting these for an eight count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then dropping the thumb down to B. One, two, three, four. Then drop down to G. Five, six, seven, eight. And then back to where you started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then down here. So the lower portion's really easy to learn. I'm gonna show you the simplest way to learn it before I show you the full chord. So if you're just learning it, start off with one finger at a time and just use these three keys. It's just E, A, B, E. Every seventh count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so on. And then the full chord, once you have that down, you're matching whatever key you press with the same key, just an octave lower. So if you're hitting E up here, you're hitting E down here. When you move up to A, you're hitting A down here as well. And then last but not least, do this, learn this all step by step, obviously, but last but not least, if you listen to the Dr. Dre beat, there's like a little pluck sound, it's not just it's like that sound. Scott Storch hits the keys almost like one at a time, but very fast. So it's like this one goes down a millisecond before this one, millisecond before that one. So it's not just this. Learn it that way till you get it down, but then it's. And it adds a cool sound to it. That's it. I like your version. How does it go? you guys know about these double family box packages of kid cereal. It's amazing. Let the winter games begin. About four weeks out. Hey Steve, hey Steve. What's happening here in about four weeks? What? Super total, it's, it's five weeks. It's like four weeks and like four days, 33 days. 
It's like four and a half weeks. Yeah, you psyched the one. I'm psyched, I'm amped. <laughs> Question, what's in four and a half to five weeks at top strength? I'm gonna win the Super Turtle again. Oh shit! We did heavy triples, we did heavy doubles, now we're moving on to heavy singles. My favorite, starting off light, this is week number one, day number one, we're easing into everything, so no heavyweight yet. Worked into a single of 505, because Brett, my coach, did 606 today, so I wanted to match him just on a 100 pound difference there. <laughs> and it moved easy and it felt light like it should, but my form and technique definitely felt wobbly and rickety underneath it, because I'm so used to front squats that I'm subconsciously trying to turn my low bar squat into a front squat now and it's fucking me all up but this happened to me before when I did front squats for a while so front squats are done now obviously and I'm gonna throw in some box squats later this week just to help retrain my brain into moving in a low bar squat pattern and that should do the trick uh, even the back offsets finally started to feel more normal and low bar ish again <laughs> For bench, I worked it to a single of 365. Now, bench is only super weak feeling for me. My first and second week back into a training cycle after a deload, always like clockwork. And to give you an example, the training cycle in which I hit 405 for the first time ever, my first day of training on that cycle, my single was only 345 pounds. So I wanted to make sure I went heavier than that because we want to continue moving forward and improve. So I worked it to 365 for my first day back but it definitely moved heavier than it usually does. But that's just clockwork, that's business as usual. So I'm amped, man, I'm amped. Let's kick it off, five weeks to go. Let the winter games begin. So, so that is the full video. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it. If there's anything uh, musical related you want to see, let me know. I mean, I'm just kind of learning again myself, but it's a whole lot of fun. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.